Hey, how's it going? It's my F-250. Uh, today, I'm repairing some stress cracks in the ra radiator core support. See right there, I've already done one side. Coming down, all the way down under. A couple spots of porosity, but it's not too bad. Got a little bit of spatter there. Reach on down to that uh, spot weld. So, I say just a few spots, stress crack. Now I need to do the other side. This is what it looked like before. Down the hole, stress crack down, down to the bottom. some light up in there for you guys you can see that there we go stress crack there once across and then back down so I will clean up all that rust and where that stress crack is all the way up to the top and I'll get this side welded up and I'm using my small My Millermatic 135 to weld those up. And I'm using a C25 gas, so keep the spatter down. Makes it a lot cleaner weld. And what I'm using to clean that up with, I don't want to drag out the air, so I just hook my. Uh, tip up here to my cordless drill and I just clean up along the the brake so it makes it a lot easier to, to weld it with so I don't have to haul out too much big equipment that's what it looks like right there and so I got one more side to do I'll be up for stress crack on this radiator core support on top and I have one more on a driver's side lower floorboard uh, is also a known area for stress cracks to happen and I will show you guys that one a little bit later when I get to it so that's it um, well the primer you see on here it's etching primer not regular primer but I'm using etching primer because of the exposed metal and make sure uh, if you do if you do have stress cracks and you're doing a repair like this you want to try to get it uh, the etching primer inside the hole itself because if you weld it it's going to burn on the inside so try best as you can to get some of that etching primer on the inside too to help protect that sheet metal so it'll keep it from rusting again so but that's it thank you